words for Scarlet on Valentine's Day. There's a path that I know well. Turn off all the lights. Throw a blanket over the moon. Dip those matches in the ocean. Let the stars call in sick. Let them rest. I don't need their light. My feet know this path well. This mountain paved smooth by my shoes. Each angular pebble once looking for a fight. Ground down to gravel, to sand, to glass polished by my feet that do not know pause. Have not met break. Have not spoken with stop, not even in passing. Beneath my feet I imagine the stones. Descendants of great mountains, masters of time and persistence. I imagine the day that they understood the truth of my feet. And that these feet, these feet were not the bristle cone pine that had held hands with the mountain for a mere 4,000 years. They were not the great floods or the raindrops that can turn razors into soft folds of Grecian robes of given a short 100,000 years to do it. No. These feet had not spoken to stop, not even in past. And like a child who, instead of choosing rock, paper, or scissors, chooses instead to turn into Shiva, like Rock, paper, explosion of rose petal fireworks, infinite soul of the universe, Shiva. Like that kid's trembling opponent, the mountain must surrender. But just before it does surrender to the carrying and the supporting of feet, the boldest of stones and the boldest of moments looks up and asks my feet, where are you going? And my feet, surprised and humbled by the fact that the mountains are speaking to them, bows deeply and sheepishly responds. I have no idea. His heart knows this way well, and I carry his heart. Hearing the word heart the mountain does not bow, but collapses. Makes itself flat, urgently, like a tsunami that just saw God on the shore it was hungry for. Like the entire population of India simultaneously falling into Shavasana, the mountain descends and smiles, providing a stable prayer for the heart to walk upon. Carrying my feet, that carry my heart, that carries me always to you, that carries me always with you. I know this path well. Turn off the lights. Throw a blanket over the moon. Dip those matches in the ocean. Let the stars call in sick. Let them rest. I don't need their light to see where my heart is going. My heart knows this path well. Or turn the lights on. All of them. Pull the blanket from the moon. Dry those matches. Light every candle, lantern, and heart, and let the stars know that their presence is requested in the night sky. Let the heartbeats growing faint on the outskirts of the heaving jungle know that they too can be wild, are wild. Reach down and pull the mountain up, wobbly from years of prayer and surrender, and beg it to surrender to its fullness. To pierce the heavens so we might all dance up its paths and sneak in through the opening. For even though I may not need light, let there be light, let there be pleasure, let it be daunting, let it be delicious. The mountains know that I will not lay down, but I will pray down this path with you. I know it well.